have to see it to believe it. John Roebling reports. Thanks, Cindy. To the outside observer, this building looks like any other office. But it's the people that make this normal workplace anything but. Meet Steve Rotundo. He's branch manager at ELG Insurance. He decided after a recent trip to the Bahamas that despite the cold economy, there might be a way to warm up morale. The result? A new policy they're calling Bahama Fridays. Well, I had got back from a vacation to the Bahamas and I was, I was very bummed out. And I felt like uh, if I couldn't go back to the Bahamas, I would just simply bring the Bahamas here to our office in New Jersey. But with all these distractions, you have to ask, can any work get done in an environment like this? There's no reason why people even working at an insurance company can't have a little fun. I'm proud of what we've accomplished here in New Jersey by bringing the Bahamas home. So what do employees think about this new policy? I mean, it's fun. I thought it was a little weird at first, uh, but it, it's, it's fun. It's good for morale. Well, actually, I just, I just got engaged, and we're going to get married in the Bahamas. However, this idea is not so engaging to others. Well, honestly, I was a little bit reluctant, you know. I thought maybe uh, Fridays might not be so productive. On the surface, Bahama Fridays, though unconventional, seems harmless enough. They sing the Bahama National Anthem every morning. They break out the limbo stick on afternoon lunch. They pass the conch at company meetings. But can working hard and playing hard coexist under the same roof? I don't care what anyone says. If you compare our 2008 annual numbers to the first quarter of 2009, we're up all across the board. And Steve has such faith in the effectiveness of his policy that he's encouraging other managers to follow his lead. We asked some locals what they thought of the idea. It'll definitely boost morale, I would imagine. You know, just for a little eye candy in the office, that's fine. Depending on what women are in the bathing suits as well. So you got to think about that. Um, it kind of gets you out of the doldrums of the 9 to 5 and, and breaks up the atmosphere a little bit. So I'm all for it. And hopefully that'll get passed on throughout the city because people need a little bit of an uplift right now. And support for Bahama Fridays doesn't stop there. Steve's TGIBF Facebook page and a website called BahamaFridays.com have garnered so much attention that the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism has taken notice. We definitely got on this bandwagon and decided to sponsor a sweepstakes at BahamaFridays.com so that anyone could win a trip to the Bahamas and see what it's really like to be on Bahamas time. People say it's better in the Bahamas. Well, I like to think that it's a little better around here now, too. I meant, uh, that's rotary. Silly? Yes. Productive? Apparently. Fun? Absolutely. I'm John Roebling, and I'm on Island Time. Cindy, Bill, I'm passing the conch shell to you. <laughs> Thanks, John. Boy, it looks like a fun way to spend a Friday. I tell you.